Good morning everybody and welcome back to another slightly different safari adventure. Today we are heading out with the carnivore research team here in Lua Plain. Uh, I'm going to document what those guys do in the region and today our mission is to go and document how they track the cheetahs here in the National Park. It's just about 6.30 in the morning now. It's a beautiful morning. So I'm going to head across to the carnivore research program place just now and get the day started. And fingers crossed, we'll find these cheetahs. Let's go. I was picked up by Dan and Lucky, and you might recognize Dan from the behind the scenes section in the recent BBC Dynasty series, where both the cheetah and hyena episodes were filmed right here in Lua Plain. Our mission for today was to locate a famous cheetah known by researchers as Cheetah 180, but also known as Kali. She was a female that the BBC filmed for two years and they based their dynasty's episode around her life. At the age of 11, she is the oldest known cheetah in Zambia. There are currently 18 cheetah within the park, but today, if we could find Kali, it would be an honour. Three times a week at 8am, the Zambian carnivore programme received coordinates transmitted by Kali's collar. This gives them her location from a previous day and helps determine a rough area where we might find her amongst the vast 3,500 square kilometres of Lua Plain. From here, the researchers can use VHF telemetry, which will pick up the cheetah's colour if she's within 2 kilometres of our position. On this morning, Callie's position was over 20 kilometres away, so we decided to drive to water in the hope that she was walking in our direction and hopefully our paths would cross somewhere in the middle. I was doing my best to try and document the team in action, which wasn't always the easiest on the bumpy terrain. Every now and then we would stop, scan and hope that Kali was within two kilometres of our position. The longer we drove, the more unlikely it seemed that we would find Kali and we stopped for one last scan, but sadly we weren't within range. But what we did do is we decided to document some more of the work that the team do and we headed over to a herd of wildebeest to count not only the total number of animals in the herd but also the individual cows, bulls, calves and yearlings. After this we decided to call it a morning and we headed back into camp. Well, I am now back in camp after a fantastic morning spent with Dan and Lucky from ZCP. I'm hoping to do a little bit more work with those guys over the next two or three weeks while I'm here, documenting more and more of what they're doing. It's now time to relax for a little. Okay, I'm gonna stop myself right there because it's now a couple of days since this last cheetah attempt. And now today I have been out with Peter and doing some shots of him on the motorbike and we were also out looking for cheetah and today we got lucky, so uh, here's a quick little recap on how today went. At 8 a.m. we received coordinates for Kali and she was only a few hundred meters away. Peter took off on his bike quickly and myself and Robbie followed in hot pursuit, hopeful that today we would find Kali. Every now and then Peter would stop the scan and get a better idea on her location and it wasn't long before we started to see some real signs that she was close by and eventually we located her on the edge of a small woodland and I was very excited and eager to grab some shots. And there she was, Kali. I watched in awe of this extremely beautiful animal buzzing with excitement, honoured to even just catch a glimpse of her. Okay. 
located the cheetah and um, she is just in one of these woodlands but she's scanning the area oh, now she's started to walk again towards us so unlike lions and leopards cheetahs will normally uh, hunt during the day and this female is definitely looking like she wants to have a look around and see if there's anything worth hunting she's just coming this way now so i better grab some more shots when the team are with the cheetah they will be noting her location her general health if she's been hunting and eating and they'll also do more serious things like identify areas that need better law enforcement and they'll also make sure the animals have not been caught in any poacher snares and if they have then they'll arrange for the snares to be removed and the wounds to be treated. All of this information is then passed down to the government to better help protect these incredible animals. After some time Callie crossed a river to an area where we couldn't follow her so we decided to head back into camp after a very successful morning. What a privilege it had been to not only see Kali, but to work alongside the Zambian carnivore program and to help document the incredible work that they do here. I'll be sure to leave a link in the video description where you can head over to find out more information on the work that the Zambian carnivore program do. So as you can see it was an incredible day. I'm going to leave you guys with a cheeky little time lapse which I've just started to film here from the lodge. It's about 6 o'clock in the evening now so we have about 45 minutes left until sunset. So I shall finish off this little safari adventure with this time lapse. As always guys, as I was about to say, please if you like this content give me a like and a comment and subscribe and click that notification bell. And as always, thank you very much for joining me on this adventure and we shall see you very soon on the next one.